helping make your life easier. Moms every day. It's hard to avoid being out in the sun and getting vitamin D is good for you, but too much sun exposure can lead to skin cancer. And basal cell carcinoma is a very common type with more than 4 million cases diagnosed each year in the U.S. Dr. Lee Sutton with Sutton Dermatology and Aesthetics is here to talk about this slow growing tumor. Nice to see you today. Thank you. So let's talk about this uh, basal cell carcinoma. What are the risk factors of getting this? Well, people that usually are diagnosed with basal cell have a fairer complexion. They have a history of intense intermittent sun expo exposure and we identify this through asking if they have a history of sunburns. They might be immunocompromised either through medication or an illness or they might just have to work outside for extended periods of time. Mm -hmm. And so those are the patients that are often coming in with these diagnoses. Okay, well what does it look like? The most common type is a nodular basal cell and that looks like a pink pearly papule. It's very slow growing so patients will often say, oh I thought this was a pimple but then it didn't go away. And usually it shows up in sun exposed areas. Exactly. All right. And so if you get diagnosed with one of these, what's the risk of having another one? You have about a 50% chance of developing another skin cancer in your lifetime. Mm -hmm. And so how dangerous is this? I know we, we hear about melanoma and everybody is, is freaked out about getting that. What about this type of cancer? This type is very slow growing. It hardly ever metastasizes or spreads to other parts of the body. But that being said, it will continue to slowly grow. So it's best to take care of them when they're small. And so you have less of a scar mm -hmm. or an area that you have to treat. How do you treat it? Do you burn it off, cut it off? Uh, treatment kind of varies. There's different subtypes. So the superficial basal cell grows more in the top layers of the skin. And you can actually treat that with topical chemotherapy cream. Mm -hmm or have it be excised. The nodular type, the type that we saw a picture of, that's more common. Um, it grows, I tell patients, it kind of grows like a carrot, so it grows straight down. And those need to be either surgically excised, uh, a procedure called electrodesiccation and curatage, mm -hmm. which crudely is burning and scraping it, mm -hmm. or radiation. All right, and so prognosis is excellent. Very very high, yes. And so to protect yourself going forward, just wear that sunscreen and protective clothing, right? Exactly. Just be smart sunscreen. Be sun smart, because mm -hmm. you want to get some sun. I mean, it's, it's good yeah. for you, but yeah. be careful, all right? Yes. All right, thanks for being here today. Thank you. And for more information on Sutton Dermatology and Aesthetics, visit MomsEveryday.com or download the Moms Every Day app. Visit Moms Every Day online or on the go through our Moms Every Day app. Download it today to find local solutions for you and your family.